Uh, welcome back. So it's been about two months since my last video and I thought I'd give everybody an update of what I've done. It's actually storming here at the moment, which is really nice. So I'll leave you with a bit of the ambient sound. Gonna get a little wet doing this but I just wanted to show you all something that I have in my garden so you may see down here um, this is and I know I'm gonna get the pronunciation wrong I think it's called the Kugelhof <laughs> um, but basically what they are are two um, terracotta pots which are hot glue gun together with the hole in the bottom also glued shut you bury them in your garden and fill them up with water and because terracotta when it is wet, the pores of the clay seal themselves. So if the, the soil around it is dry, then the water will actually seep out of the pot into the soil. If the soil around it is wet, then the pores of the pot will close themselves up and retain the water. So it's basically um, a self-watering system. We have to refill them every couple of days, especially in summer. Summers here in Australia get very, very hot. Uh, we've just had three or four days of nearly 35 degree heat. So they have been really helpful for that. You are meant to bury them completely under the ground, but as I said in my last video, the ground here is very hard. It's mostly built of uh, builder's rubble and clay. So what I've got in top here is potting mix, um, so garden soil, compost and mulch, and I'm just going to build it up over time. I have only been here for two months, so it's going to be a gradual process. Added to the garden since my last video we have some purple flowering thyme here this smells absolutely amazing and will eventually creep over the most of the garden bed and down the wall uh, the lemongrass is doing quite well i did have to move a couple of the plants that weren't doing too well over in this back corner i think it is too dark for them it doesn't get a lot of sunlight there so the rhubarb is doing quite well um, i did have a problem with a lot of slugs uh, the chamomile is doing okay the strawberry down here isn't doing so well um, but the one up here is, and the one over here is. So I'm not sure what's wrong with that one. The capsicums that I planted here, I had three of them. They also weren't doing too well. They weren't dead, but they weren't growing in the two months that I've had them in here. So I've moved those two over to the other side of the bed. And the nasturtium is doing quite well here. Again, the two passion fruits, I don't think they're getting enough sunlight because they just haven't grown since I planted them. Down here, we have um, a couple of seedlings that have come up. I'm not actually sure what they are because I planted a heap in this garden bed in general and then we got some rain. I think the rain has actually washed all the seeds down sort of into that general area so I'm not sure what they are anymore but I will soon find out I guess. 
This tomato has done the best. It is absolutely shot up in the last week or two, as has the nasturtium. The basil that I planted there hasn't done so well. It's quite stunted. I've got a feeling it might be getting eaten by something. Um, the sage has just absolutely taken off. It loves being in this spot. Uh, some other new additions is we have a blueberry bush here, but the birds got to it before I did, so there's no blueberries that have come up on that. Um, this is some corn up the back here, which is going quite well. Again, not sure what that one there is because I didn't put labels on things when I planted them. that was showing a tantrum in my last video. I took off all the leaves but one and it has now put out several new leaves so I assume it is a lot happier than what it was. Uh, down here is another new addition so this is actually a grapevine that one of my neighbours has. Um, I took a couple of cuttings from it. They're semi-soft cuttings so the wood isn't completely hard. It's still sort of green. Um, I did look up online what the best time to take cuttings from. I know the leaves look a little sad, but that's just it um, basically showing a tantrum because I've cut it off and planted it somewhere else. So my grow room medium here is potting mix and peat, um, which will help it retain moisture. These need to stay um, damp but not wet for a few months and they should sprout roots. So before I planted them in there, I did dip the ends in a rooting hormone help they don't have to have it but it does help them grow roots a lot faster and a lot stronger it's actually raining so i'm getting kind of wet <laughs> um so down here is some things that i planted recently so there's asparagus which i'm quite excited to grow but that won't be ready for another two or three years because you need to let it grow for quite a while um i've also there's a capsicum there that i've moved up from the other side where it wasn't growing um and up behind me here um, are actually a couple of the tomatoes that I also planted up the other end and they just never grew. So I'm going to try them down here where the other one is doing quite well and hopefully that helps them pick up a bit. 